Right, so there's been a theory floating around that we could see an M1 Max Duo in the bigger iMac launching very, very soon. And well, today we do have some evidence suggesting just that. And so let's delve into it, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so someone on Twitter posted images of the M1 Max die, and while the dean from Max Tech picked up on the fact there is a hidden section on the bottom of the die that of course could be used for connecting other dies. And so basically what this means is that this is evidence that Apple designed the M1 Max with the intention of giving us the option for two M1 Max chips or four M1 Max chips with future Macs. And so yeah, simply using the section on the bottom of the die, Apple can of course do die to die interconnecting and this gives us the option for an M1 Max Duo in a future Mac. And then of course for the quad M1 Max chip, Vadim explains Apple can use an IO die. But yeah, the really exciting news is that the possibility of seeing an M1 Max Duo in the iMac has now increased since Apple has clearly designed the M1 Max with that purpose. And yes, I know some of you guys might be saying that of course, this M1 Max Duo and M1 Max Quadra might be for the Mac Pro and not the bigger iMac. And to that I say that I do think the Mac Pro is gonna get chips based on M2 because do you remember by the time the Mac Pro releases, M1 Pro and M1 Max won't be that new and of course M1 would have been replaced by the M2 chip. And so since the Mac Pro is gonna be the best of the best, Apple flexing all their silicon prowess, I do think they're better off giving us M2 based chips with the Mac Pro. But that does not mean we're gonna see an M1 Max Quadra in the bigger iMac. I definitely think the four chip configuration is gonna stay with the Mac Pro, but the chip itself won't be based on the M1 Max. It's going to be four M2 Max chips instead. And yeah, we should see the same section on the M2 Max die since of course, the architecture and the structure of the chips should be somewhat similar to the current M1 generation of chips. But coming back to the M1 Max Duo, this chip going into the bigger iMac makes a ton of sense. Since of course, for one, the current 27 inch Intel iMac is a very powerful beast. And while the M1 Max in the MacBook Pros does a pretty good job to match these chips, it definitely isn't a massive leap. And surely when Apple brings Apple Silicon to the bigger iMac, they want to flex that these chips are way better than those Intel Macs. And so of course, giving us the option to get an M1 Max Duo for the bigger iMac makes a ton of sense. Also do remember that of course, unlike the MacBook Pros, which have thermal constraints because of its size, the iMac won't have such issues. It's a way bigger machine and also does not rely on battery power. So of course, Apple can go full on with the performance of the bigger iMac. And I believe there have been mock-ups where the M1 Max Duo chip should fit in the chin of the iMac. And even if that's not the case, Apple can of course put the chip behind the display since the bigger iMac's gonna be way thicker than the current 24 inch model. And so yes, I do see many signs pointing towards the bigger iMac getting the upgrade to the M1 Max Duo chip. But I do wanna mention that of course, we could see a GPU die that connects to the M1 Max. And so there is a possibility that of course, the bigger iMac with the much better cooling also gets a much beefier GPU. But tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the code above on details regarding the iPad Pros with the M2 chip. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.